NTCA is based in Arlington, Virginia. We're an uh, a organization of telephone cooperatives and telephone commercial companies. Uh, right now we've got 570 telco member companies and 450 associate members. And all of those members provide either video, data, or voice. Uh, a lot of people don't understand Universal Service Fund and what it is intended to do and how well it has worked. I, you know, there's an old saying in West Texas where I'm from that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, certainly there are some things that need changing and tweaking and, and adjustments, but as far as uh, scrapping the whole plan, it has worked so well and it's got rural America where that they're not second-class citizens as far as, as connectivity. There's comparability between the, the metro areas and rural America and that's primarily because of the USF plan. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's, yeah, let's make some changes, let's adjust it, but don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, you know, there's a lot of success stories. Honestly, there are some, there's some areas where that, uh, you know, by putting broadband, it has enabled the communities to stay together, uh, kept uh, schools and hospitals and libraries going. Uh, and anywhere in rural America, if you lose a school, the community's gonna go away. So connectivity for a school and hospitals for the uh, radiology, transfer of radiology, uh, all of those kind of things, the rural companies have stepped up. I'll give you one for instance, just uh, for five area telephone. And uh, by the way, I'm from Mule Shoe, Texas. Mule Shoe, uh, Texas. Oh, Mule Shoe. <laughs> uh, and that's uh, 385 miles to the west of here, little town of Mule Shoe, Texas. But uh, one of our exchanges in uh, the cooperative is a little town called Sudan. And I got a call from a gentleman one day in uh, New York City. And he is a medical research analyst for a pharmaceutical company in New York. And he asked me if we had broadband capabilities in, uh, in that town where he was questioning, which was Sudan. I said, yes, we do. Well, come to find out, his 92-year-old father lived there in Sudan, and he wanted to move there to take care of him, but he needed some broadband capabilities in order to continue his job with the pharmaceutical company in New mm -hmm. York. So I said, uh, absolutely, we can give you six meg right now, you know, more if you need it. So uh, he contacted me a couple of weeks later, and he says, I'm gonna move. He said, if I turn the service order in, how soon can I have that service? And I said, if you turn in the morning, you have it in the afternoon. Great. And that's making the quality of life so much better in rural America, where that you have the services like you could have in downtown Dallas. Uh, you're able to take advantage of the expertise of a of a, a physician in, in uh, some of the larger hospitals in Dallas or Houston or uh, San Antonio or Austin and have those th that capability in the smaller locations of course is something very important and what there's a there's a double-edged sword to that and also in addition to providing additional services for the existing people now we become attractive for people that are wanting to move out into the country mm -hmm. and have the country way of life but then have that connectivity with the, uh, the bigger operations like they're used to in, in the, the larger cities.